University of Vermont Extension presents the following information on crop insurance. The information in this video is brought to you by University of Vermont Extension with funding from the Risk Management Agency, USDA. The Risk Management Agency provides sound risk management solutions for farmers. For more information, visit www.rma.usda.gov. Hi, I'm Pam Smith with UVM Extension. Today I'd like to talk about how Vermont farmers can benefit from purchasing crop insurance. Provisions of the 2008 Farm Bill require that farmers carry crop insurance on eligible crops in order to receive USDA disaster assistance. Most lenders, including the Farm Service Agency, now require a farmer to carry crop insurance in order to receive loans. Crop insurance is meant to protect against losses from adverse weather like heavy rain, hail, frost, drought, fire, plant disease, insects, and wildlife damage. It's important that you keep records that document any of these conditions. Crop insurance is sold and serviced by private companies. However, it is your responsibility to notify your agent as soon as you suspect a problem. For farmers growing silage and grain corn, insurance policies are available to protect against low yields and declines in market prices. There's a certain amount of flexibility with these policies. For example, if you have 10 years or more of production records for your farm, you can use those records to create your own production history. This comes in useful when your yields are higher than assigned county averages. You can also select coverage level options ranging from 50 to 75 percent of your average yield. For example, if your silage corn yield averages 20 tons per acre and you choose a 50 percent coverage level, you would be guaranteed 10 tons per acre. This same type of policy is also available for small grain growers of barley and wheat and also for soybeans. Both forage seeding and forage production policies are also offered to Vermont farmers. Catastrophic coverage is available to farmers who want to keep the cost of crop insurance policies as low as possible. For $300 per year per crop, you would be guaranteed 50% of your average yield and 55% of your price election. Using a silage corn yield of 20 tons per acre, your guarantee would be 10 tons per acre with a price election of 55% or $20.49 per ton. Many farmers choose to increase their coverage through the buy-up option. This costs $30 per crop per county. It guarantees a higher percentage of your yield. Crop insurance is available for many other crops. In 2008, just over 41% of the state's 2,800 acres of apples were insured, with nearly 60% of the policies receiving a loss payment. Growers of grapes, peaches, sweet corn, potatoes, and nurseries are also eligible for crop insurance, as are organic crops and dairy. Another option available to Vermont farmers are whole farm-based revenue policies called Adjusted Gross Revenue, AGR, and AGR Lite. These policies insure against low revenue for nearly 300 crops, animals, and animal products. A farmer's past five years of tax records, usually from the IRS Schedule F, is used to figure farm income. Let's review what we have discussed. Eligibility for many USDA farm programs requires that you insure eligible crops. Losses due to bad weather conditions, plant disease, and insect and wildlife damage are insurable. Good farm records are important to document losses. Policies offer a certain amount of flexibility. For example, your individual farm records can be used to establish yields. You can choose from various coverage levels and a buy-up option. Crop insurance is available for many crops grown in Vermont, including those grown organically. For more information, contact a crop insurance agent or UVM Extension. Thanks for joining me. I'm Pam Smith with UVM Extension.